hello guys how are you okay in this video i'm going to show you how can we make our python program executable in linux without using any module or installer okay in next video i will show you how can we work with installers okay but for now here i'm uh, going to make it executable without any module okay actually someone requested this video so i'm making it well it will be very useful i hope you will enjoy it let me show you i had created uh, my application in previous videos so here it is i run python3 my app.py okay this was the application that i had created in the previous video okay guys now here i'm going to make this application executable okay so for that first we need to uh, check which python we are using okay i am using python 3 but uh, where it is so for that i will use which command and here python 3 so it's uh, telling me that this python 3 is being used okay so i will edit my program sudo nano my app.py and here on the very first line i will use sorry uh hash then usr bin python 3 right now i save it and exit it okay guys now the second step is to make it executable so for that i will use chmod command and then plus x and my app dot py okay so it will turn it to executable i will show you another method uh, later in this video so please watch entire video very carefully uh, i hope it will be very useful for you okay guys so here i enter this okay wait let me set it sudo okay now it will work okay now i will just call the file name with dot slash uh, my app dot py okay and it should work fine let me show you you can see i did not use python 3 which i was using before now it's executable and it's actually a bash executable okay uh, this is the first method uh, you can see this and uh, let me tell you another way i close this now we can also set alias okay what is alias uh, let me show you we can set an alias uh, but it's temporary here and i will show you how can we make a uh, alias permanent as well okay so first let me create a temporary alias and see how it works so first i will use alias and then my application okay and then here i will use like this home code work ttk my app dot py this is the path to my application okay and i am setting alias so i will simply enter my application and it should show the application okay now i will only enter just my application okay and it should open the application you can see this it's working now but it's a uh, temporary okay to make it permanent we need to add it bash script okay so for that i close it now here we go g edit then mm, okay dot bash rc okay this is the bash rc file now here here i am going to set permanent alias okay so for that alias and here my application 2 okay and here i will set the path to the application code work um ttk my app dot py okay this is the path 
to the application now I will save it okay file has been saved now I close it and I have to also close this terminal so changes will take place if I enter like here application 2 it will not work okay I have to restart my terminal so I close terminal and I open new terminal now let me zoom it so you can easily watch it okay now if I enter my application 2 it should show the application okay you can see it's working right very good I hope you are getting what I am doing I am trying to explain you the concept in easy words okay guys now another way is to create launcher file for launcher file we will create here uh, let me go to desktop okay here I will create nano and launcher dot desktop file okay right now I simply save it exit it here is the file okay I ran it now I am going to create desktop uh, okay this is very small so let me do this in nano so you can easily watch it okay so here nano launcher dot desktop okay and here you can easily watch it here I will enter desktop entry right I will set some parameters so name uh, my application okay and let's set version 1.0 okay and executable file which is executable file okay so our executable file is myapp.py right so here home code work and ttk and myapp.py okay and here I will set type application okay and we can also set icon here for icon I will need to download some icon but uh, but you can simply use icon and then and here uh, path to icon okay ttk icon dot icon okay but I don't have any icon so I'm removing it uh, I showed you just uh, so you can easily understand okay now I save it and exit it okay guys now you can see if I click this file it should open our application file okay let me show you okay you can see this it's uh, giving this uh, warning so we need to set its permission wait let me uh, sometime my right click does not work okay I go to properties and here permissions and allow executing file as a program okay guys I give this permission here and now I will double click it now we will click trust and launch and it should open our application please guys like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel okay and uh, please press bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming videos in next video I'm going to make a application executable with the uh, installer okay so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video this is very simple and very easy and I tried my best to explain you well in easy words I hope you like this okay guys take care see you in next video goodbye